Hello my viewers, welcome back to the episode of the Arsenal Live. Today's video, by the title, you know, this video is about me grading the Steelers' positions. So basically the example is like, I was doing an NBA one, um, I, like point guards. I'm, I'm grading it based off of the, the depth they have there, but depth and the skill level they have there. I mean, you give it a grade from A to F. And spoiler alert, there's no Fs on this on this list. Now last, now, last year probably been some Fs on the list, but there's no Fs on this list. Okay, let's go to... The first position, quarterback. Quarterback, my, my, my overall quarterback grade for the Pittsburgh Steelers um, was a B minus. And the reason I give it a B minus because it's like a, it's like it's like solid. You no, know, a B minus is like a like an eighty, right? Uh, uh, yeah, probably like an eighty, probably like an eighty around the dot. You know, it's not not too bad, not too good. You know, it's just right. Eighty around the dot, you're gonna pass still. You're gonna look good. You're gonna look good on the pro card. Look solid on the pro card. Look all right. So B minus because um, Mr. Bisky. It's a pro bowler, former pro bowler, and he's um, more, he, you know, he, he's proven himself a little bit, not too much, but he proven himself a little bit. He's been in the playoffs um twice, and you know he's um, I feel, I feel like he, you know, he has he has some upside to him too, a little potential, a little higher ceiling like that too, and like he's um a good quarterback to like, you know, he's a solid quarterback you if you have on your team like like um you know you feel comfortable, not too like you want to feel like oh shoot. We got Mr. Biscuit on the team. We're about to get smoked. Like, you, you feel more comfortable. Like, okay, I feel comfortable with Mr. Biscuit. And Kenny Pickett, another guy, too. You feel comfortable with Kenny Pickett. He, he, drafted, he got drafted in the first round as well. Kenny Pickett, um, people um, projecting him, his play style to be like Derek Carr. Um, they say like they sound like his play style is like Derek Carr. And that's, you know, Derek Carr is a good player, in my opinion. I, I, have, I have him top 10 quarterback. If you see my top 10 quarterback list, go right, watch that. That was a couple um, months ago. But Derek Carr, um, play style, you know, he plays. Almost that like he has that, 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 that strong arm and he's um like it's like a quick release and he um he can extend plays and like he has that uh, the what's his name that, that underdog mentality too because he be coming back from games he making some things happen out of nothing so Kenny Pickett has that type of and they compare him to him hopefully he, he plays like, hopefully he play better than that you know he, he plays better um than Derek Carr he, but he played that he like on that spe same spectrum that's pretty good it's pretty impressive. And um, Mr. Rudolph is not too bad himself either. Even though we give Mr. Rudolph a hard time, Mr. Rudolph is still a solid player. He's he's still a solid. He's like a, well, a little slightly below average on um, like quarterback. But I feel like maybe on, he he might be starting on some teams. You know, you never know. You know, Mr. Rudolph not he's not like a, he not too he's not terrible terrible. And like the Steelers have shown like, they won games with them, and sometimes they won games in spite of him. But they won games with them. But um, so like an overall grade, I give him a B minus, so like an eighty. It'd be like an eighty. And I won't give him. I won't give him a seventy. 75 and like that. I won't give him a C plus. I give him a B minus. So like that's solid enough. Receiving core, a B plus. Um, we have Jesse Johnson, who was a Pro Bowl last year. Claypool put up 800 something yards last year. You know he only had two touchdowns and he didn't play well throughout the whole season. He put up 800 something yards last year. And the year before that, he scored 11 touchdowns. And then you have um George Pickens, who we drafted in the second round, who has a lot of upside, a lot of potential. He's looking. He might become our number one receiver. You never know what could happen. And then you got um Calvin Austin, who brings some speed. To the, to the team, Miles Boykin, size and strength. Um, got Gunner still too. Gunner, um, he's a punt return, hit returner, but we see him make some plays here and there. The Patriots on um the offensive side, so you never know. So like as a whole, I thought like they um, like, I give them like a grade, be like a B plus, like, like eighty five grade, something like that. So they can like bring it home. They might get they might get some allowance money or something, but a B plus for sure for the um, for the receiver grade. Now running backs, I gave running backs a C plus. Cause now Najee is an A. Najee is an A. He's an A. He's at first. He's an A student. He gets all the A's, and he you know he's like he going he got he been home nineties, ninety fives, stuff like that. Sometimes the hundreds. But his classmates, his classmates do not bring back home. Not bring home nineties. They bring back seventies, sixty fives, and it brings his it brings his team, his class average down. You know, cause Najee and then who? Benny Snell may have a burst or two. I mean, the Ravens game, the last game of the season, he had a burst here and there. And then Kellen Balazs. Now, they don't get that many opportunities sometimes, but sometimes they get opportunities, they still don't make they don't make it happen. And, you know, like Kellen Balazs, maybe make a burst here or two, here or there. And then, um, who else is on the. Oh, Anthony McFarland. We might do the same thing. We drafted a. Um, we, we signed an undrafted free agent running back, too. So we might. So add him into there, too. But he's undrafted. So I can't, like, give him a boot, be like a boost yet. I see how he plays and see how he does. But it's a C, because, like, overall, besides Najee, it's really. It's really not. I don't know. It's not comfortable. Like it's not. It's like it's like. I don't know, I say comfortable. It's not competent. Like because like the. I don't know. It's, like, it's just like the rock. Like the running back room is not really like elite. Like after it's Najee and then 
it's like drop three levels and then it gets to the other ones. So it's like, yeah, so maybe maybe they might change. Maybe they might, they might kick it up. Because Caleb Blige had a lot of problems. He was, he was very promising coming into the season. We've seen him in preseason. We've seen you know, we, we, we signed him and like that. But then he had opportunities. It was like, dang, what's going on? Like, like, like not fine. But the whole line wasn't looking too well last year, too. So maybe that was a, a factor. But moving on to next, the tight end. The tight end room, I gave it a B minus. Like, no, like, like an 80, because, you know, like, Pat Frymuth was good. He had, he had 499 yards, but we can only give him an extra yard. He had 500 yards, like, scored, like, seven or eight touchdowns in the season last year. He made some big plays, especially that, that, game, that play against the Browns. Amazing catch, amazing play. He made some big plays, and then he has um Zach Gentry with him. Zach Gentry has developed into an uh, amazing blocker, and he made some plays here and there in the past game, but he's very known for his blocking. He, like, he helped a lot last year, too, with the blocking. And then adding Connor Hayward, too, who's a hybrid, who's, like, a fullback tight end. That's like, that's just add, it's just adding more explosiveness to the tight end room. And I feel like I feel like Fry, Fry move really can kick it up next year. I, I hope he has like 750 and maybe like 10 touchdowns next year and make the Pro Bowl or something. I feel like he can be he can be up there. He can be up there. He can probably have a thousand yards too. He got more targets like that. But I think I think this year like he should his his own stats maybe like 750, 10 touchdowns, 70 catches, 65 catches like around that. I feel like he can be a big because you know. Mr. Bisky and Kenny Pickett, or Kenny Pickett, who were starting, going to be leaning on the tight end a lot. He's not the place that I know quarterback going to be leaning on him a lot. Like the short pass game and the intermediate passing game as well. So I feel like I feel a big boost coming from Pat Farmer, but the overall grade for the tight end room is a B minus. Now, the overall grade for the O line, I was stuck in between C plus and B minus. I give it a B minus because I feel like um, the usefulness, the usefulness of them and them having like, you know, them being young is a plus because like, you know, like this ain't them at their peak. This is them. They have a lot. They can still learn a lot, and um, they're, and they're very, you know, they're very athletic too, and very uh, explosive. We signed um, one dude that played for the Bears. I almost forgot his name. Was it Jason? Is it James Daniels? It's Daniels. It's, it's last name Daniels for sure, though, of course. It's um, Daniels, and then you know Kevin Dotson is a good piece on there to add to, and and bring it back. Um, over four was cool too. So it's just like so it's like it's like solid pieces. So like, it's just added like they, they they're young players. They have a lot of they have a lot um. And ahead of them, and there's a lot of um potentialness with them, and it's just like, you know, it's just like it's like a boost. It's like it's better than last year because last year O line gave it grade it'd probably like C, probably like a C, a C or C minus really. The last year O line was just like it was like sluggish. It wasn't moving in the center position. It was just getting ran over and like it was just, it was just bad. But this year I feel like based on the accusation, like based on like the requirements, I said the accusation, not accusation. Nobody had accusations, but based on the the like, people who acquired. Um, I feel like it'd be good. I feel like it can be um a boost. They're, they're gonna be a boost to the, the team. You know, help the run game out a lot. Gonna help the quarterback out a lot. The, especially the young um QB, on um, first round draft pick Kenny Pickett, help him out a lot too. So hopefully, but I give him a B minus. You know, it's just keep it safe. Now kicking is an A minus. You know, Chris Boswell, the Wizard of Boz, don't be missing like that. So he, he that one game with the Vikings, he was tripping. I don't know what's going on, but that that game. But you no know, um Wizard of Boz always A plus. Um, then punting, we got a C plus because Percy Harvin, you know, he had, he's doing some off the field stuff. You know, sometimes it can mess with your um your game plan, mess with your the way you plan too. You know, his father um was passed, you no know, was on uh, I think diagnosed with cancer. He was, his father was passed, his father passed away, so he had to deal with that. A lot of stuff he had to deal with. So maybe this year he might kick it up again because he he has some he has some flashes. It's just like you can tell something was bothering him. So hopefully um everything okay and he kicks it up and he um. Play well and start playing like you no, know, start playing like the um player that you know we know he can play as, and that'd be very awesome to see. D line D line is an um B because you know he's a little older. Cam Hayward now he's Cam Hayward is, his, himself is A plus, and then you know Stephen Tuit is nice, um, but he haven't played in a while. Tyson Lulu, he was good in the run game, but he's uh, he's getting older. Matrius Adams is cool. Then we we sign um Neil. He, uh, DeMarvin Marvin, the Marvin Neal, right? The Marvin Neal, yep. Um, he's, he's, he, he uh, I think some of his stuff. He like they say pretty good in the run game and stuff. So we are gonna see as they do, uh, how, how they do all in the whole, like in like, its entirety. So we gonna see how that goes. Um, cornerback, um, I give it B minus. They got Wallace and Cle Willispoon show, show like he was playing real good. He was like a number one cornerback. Um, the last like games of the season, and then Leo Wallace is solid. He was solid with the Bills, and then adding him to the roster is gonna be a little boost. And then after my let, plays good in the run game. Trey Norwood, he's like a hybrid. Like they use him in safety sometimes. Sometimes they use him as a cornerback. He plays well too. And Cam Sutton plays physical too. He's better in, as a slot corner because on the outside, his his speed really matches those receivers sometimes. But I feel like 
um, as a whole, the cornerbacks, are, they have a lot of potential. They're very young. That's another thing, like kind of the old line. They're young. So they have lots of ahead of them. And Kill Witherspoon, he could be, if he keep that, he maintain what he's been doing last season, he did last season to this season, he would he might be a pro bowler. You never know. He was, last season, he was getting a lot of picks at the end of the year. So he might be a pro bowler this year if we um, play like that. Uh, he might, he might, he, 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 hey, you never know. He might be an all pro. I don't know if go that far, but he might be a pro bowler for sure. He play like that. But, um, hopefully they, 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 he maintain that. Hopefully, let Wallace come here and play solid like he did with the Bills. And that'd be cool. Now, safety, I gave safety a B. Plus. Um, Mink, like, as, as, like all safeties, you know, Minka, Edmonds, Carl Joseph, KZ is here now, too. And then you have, um, Trey Norwood, who's kind of like both in between both. So, having those guys, like, that, that depth right there itself. Because some of those players might be starting on other teams. So that depth, the, the depth itself just um I'm actually like just boosts the grade up. And then linebackers gave it an A. You know, TJ Wyatt is there. He's a defensive player of the year. Reigning defensive player of the year. Should have been two times defensive player of the year, back to back years. But that's a story for a different time. But TJ Wyatt is the defensive player of the year. Alex High Smith is on there. He can play in the run game. He's um getting better as a pass rusher as well. And you also have Miles Jack, who's very good, who, who probably been a multiple time. Pro Bowler, if he didn't play for Jacksonville, because he like, you look at his numbers, you're like, he made the Pro Bowl because you play for he played for Jacksonville Jaguars. So he played for a different team, like he played for Steelers. Now he might make the Pro Bowl now. And then you got guys like um Devin Bush who start off good, and the injury kind of slowed him down, so maybe he get back into the groove. So we're gonna see how things um play out. Russell Lane is a solid piece too, so I gave the linebacker core an A. T.J. Y is a big part of that A too. Him and Miles Jack are a big part of that A and Oz Highsmith. So yeah. So overall, offense is a in my opinion, it's a B minus, so like an 80. And then defense is like an A minus. So like, like you know, like because I thought like the defense is by far better than the offense. Special teams is an A because Miles Kilbrew was good. And Chris um, Boswell was good too. But punting is a little shaky sometimes. So actually, we'll give it a B plus. We'll give it a B plus like that. But yes, yeah, my grading for the um, position grading, I feel like we um, reloaded. We, we added more, like, we added more weapons. You know, we, we build, we reloaded. So most, most some teams we build and they like trade away their star players and all this stuff like that. We just reloaded and added more pieces around them, and now we got more depth. We, we did we played a long haul, like a slow like, reloading is based like a slow rebuild, like throughout yearly. Instead of doing it like just one year and just throwing everything away, it's just like going through yearly. So like, the past couple of years, just like building up, building up, building up, and now you got to a roster. You find a roster, the roster you want the, for the future. So if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe. Um, this, if you don't like it, dislike. Don't subscribe. <laughs> And leave in the comment section what you think the grading is. Leave your grading in the comment section. But I'll see you guys when I see you. Peace.